Hey guys, it's Aviation Nation 12 here with uh, an, another model review. So here we have the beautiful Hawaiian 767-300ER. So I know the landing gear is missing on this one also. Um, I plan to get another one in the future. I know a lot of my aircraft have problems. Um, so let's get to it. So we'll start at the front here. I think the Hawaiian logo and fits perfectly with this jet. It just looks amazing with the six, the 767. So that's just what I want to say. It really looks nice. So we'll start at the front. The 767 is one of my most favorite planes. It's awesome looking. So here, this is the front. And this plane also has a name. I'm pretty sure Hawaiian names all their planes. I probably won't get this right, but it's called Kauai Ula, something like that. So, again, I probably didn't get that right, but that's what it's called. So then we have torpedo tubes. Then here we have Hawaiian in big letters. And then we have back here, um, the registration is N5 9 zero H A and you have the American flag. So here and then we have the beautiful Hawaiian tail and then the back door. Then we have the elevators. Uh one thing I really like the about the seven six seven is the winglets are literally massive. Like that is a huge winglet. Like I don't think any other plane other than the A320 with sharklets has that big of winglets. It's literally huge and has a nice Hawaiian flower design kind of thing. So let's move on to the fuselage here and then the two overwing exits with the little slide kind of thing. It has actually a lot of detail. It has uh, the antennas. So moving on to the engines, they're quite small, but they really fit the plane. So then the wings. Then we move on to the bottom. Nice um, purple to kind of a light purple. Then here we have the Gemini Jets logo with no landing gear, and then the front. Um, the landing gear doors there say uh, letters. I mean numbers. 590, I'm not sure if that means anything to you guys, but that's what they are. So I go, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, the Hawaiian Airlines 767 300ER model review. This might be the last one in a while, since this is my last Gemini Jets, um, one of my really good models. I have like the Darren models, I'm not sure if you guys heard of that. Uh, this is my only, this is my last model, um, really good model. I only have eight of them, so, yeah, I plan to get more in the future. I plan to get a uh, new October release. It's, uh, the Air Canada CRJ 900 or 700. Um, I think it's the 900, um, since my airport is Vancouver, and I also plan to get the American 738 in the new livery and WestJet 767. So hopefully those will be in the future and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.